the prices here on a wonderful morning. A fantastic morning. A fantastic morning. Now, your father was a... Uh, uh, would, would a you, fun you, guy. A, a fun guy. Because you, you think of him as a numbers cruncher, an accountant, but he would have enjoyed a morning like this, wouldn't he? You know what set him apart, I think, from being just a numbers cruncher is the man really lived a life with a lot of heart, a, a lot of heart and a lot of mind. And so, you know, getting that balance between the two is really a sweetener to living life fully. And uh, so he had that passion. He had the passion for people, passion for the arts. and. Uh, and he combined that with a clarity of mind that was uh, uh, kind of mathematically, uh, that's where he found his fascination and that's where his imagination excelled. He brought those two together and it made for a very, uh, it made for a very complete man. Now, we are a website of Disney fans, okay. and one aspect of your life that we're very envious of, let me ask you this first of all, when was the first time you came to Disneyland? Wow. Well, we were little kids. I mean, we would have been like six, seven years old. And, so, uh, and how many times do you think you've been to Disneyland over the years? Well, I, I have no idea. A lot of times. <laughs> but I mean, you know, what I remember are the early rides. Uh, the, 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 uh, uh, you know, driving the cars, wanting to like make sure I was tall enough to go up to the next, you know, the next ride and uh, you know the Matterhorn and the park. In a lot of ways, I mean, it was has many of the same. Uh, it's organized in the same way and has the same uh, uh, same lands, but it's been it's been embellished over the years. So I remember more as an adult, frankly, because that's I'm in the business of as an architect in the, the attractions arena, so I, I kind of look at parks differently now. So. Now, we lost your father three years ago. Yeah, almost and, three. Uh, but if he was uh, still with us and still working, what do you think he'd be excited about what's coming next? What's coming next? Uh, well, I think uh, I, th I think what's happening is it's the, the, the real changes is, is in social media and how that is being integrated uh, on various platforms, fully integrated into the experience within a park. Uh, that's what's kind of fundamentally different. It may there may be a time when there's no gate mm -hmm. that you just walk in. And I mean, we're we're actually getting. I'm not talking about Disney per se, but they're really uh, the the need to kind of walk through that kind of uh, formal gate. Uh, infrastructure is not really quite the same as it was before. I think it'll become more transparent. But whatever he'd do, I, I assume he'd keep it fun. It'd be fun all the way. And, 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 uh, and everybody in this industry is committed to that. That's really what drives it, is, is, is trying to do it better. Well, great. And thank you. Thanks you for bet. sharing your dad, and thanks for sharing all the fun. It's a pleasure. Thank you.